about these girls. They've really been through quite a procedure here, haven't they? Well, I think they've all done a grand job, and I only hope that we, the youngsters, can halfway fill issues. Nobody ever told me I couldn't be chief of staff because my eyes were brown, so now we've told these women that the sky is not a limit on them. They can go as high in the Air Force as they can. I'm very proud to have been a part of the Air Force. We did a good job. It's about aptitude, being the very best you can be. And when the opportunity arrives, seize it. Welcome to All Hands Update. This is your week in Navy history. March 21, 1917, Loretta Walsh became the Navy's first female Chief Petty Officer when she swore in as Chief Yeoman. Walsh was also the first woman to enlist in the Navy and the first woman allowed to serve in the U.S. military as anything other than a nurse. March 27, 2007, the last known female veteran from World War I, Charlotte Louise Berry Winter, died at the age of 109. She enlisted in 1917 and was a founding member of the National Yeoman's Veterans Organization. On March 7, 1994, the Navy issued the first orders for women assigned to a combat ship. That ship was aircraft carrier USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. Thing. 